hello all welcome to tech tap chat myself vishal bulbule and in this video we are going to see about a very interesting topic that is a distributed denial of service so this is a kind of technique used by hackers to interrupt a service or interrupt a normal service of any of the application so there are different kinds of technique used by hackers so one of the most popular one is distributed denial of service which is also called a ddos again there will be a xss which is a cross site scripting and then there will be a sql injection technique also so we already shared videos on sql injection so you can watch that video if you want to learn more about what is sql injection and how it work for hacking or getting access to a database in an authorized way so now we'll see about a distributed denial of service so this is a base definition or a base concept of a ddos attack or distributed denial of service so here it is called attack is a malicious attempt to disturb the normal traffic of a targeted server service or a network by overwhelming the target or its surrounding infrastructure with the flood of a internet traffic so just take an example so i have created one app web application here on a google cloud compute engine so this is a very simple web application and this web application is hosted on one of the virtual machine so i'll show you the virtual machine as well so i have hosted my web application on this virtual machine and this virtual machine is using the standard persistent disk okay which is a very low performance disk apart from any other disk type in a gcp so if i want to see the performance matrix of this uh balanced or like standard persistent disk so i'll show you that so here there are a capacity of this so for a zonal standard persistent disk the capacity you could see is 7500 read operation per second and 15000 write operation per second so that is the max capacity of my disk till which it can perform normally but what if instead of 7500 someone is trying to read my disk suppose a uh, 50000 per second way or a uh, 60000 per second iops operation per second so how my system will work so my system might crash or my system will not work properly and if someone is trying to send that much of traffic to my application so what will happen so my application might crash and that is called a ddos attack so how this ddos attacks will happen so i'll just try to explain you in a board so we'll just go here so just take an example so this is one web application which is deployed on web server and also connected to a database server now one of the hacker is trying to destroy this application or disturb this application in intended way okay so just take an example so this hacker first will plan for this attack so it will just decide some timeline for this attack and it will start preparing or that hacker will start preparing for this attack a time before so it might prepare six months or year before for this attack so what this hacker will start doing he will just create one software which can send a traffic like huge amount of traffic to this application so just take an example what this hacker will do this hacker will try to send a huge amount of traffic to the application so we'll just try to send a multiple request per second to this application okay and it will just bombard application with huge amount of traffic and request in per second so what will happen this application might start performing a slow but even though these requests sent by a single target or single server is within the limit of this capacity of the application so application might sustain but what attacker will do so this if requests are coming from a single source that is called the dos and if service is getting disrupted that is called a denial of service but what if the attack is coming from multiple sources rather than the single source then the intensity of the attack will be very huge so what hacker will do usually if they are planning for attack since a long time they will just create a malware software and they just upload it somewhere or just share that software through the mail attachment and start sending randomly across the globe 
to multiple users so you might have received multiple emails like okay you have got a lottery click here to know more about that okay you got an offer letter just click here to download offer letter and that kind of spam email you might have received so the hacker will use that kind of uh, techniques to send spam or phishing email to uh, multiple users across the globe and if anyone is clicking on that link so it will just download the malware software in at the user system so user won't have any idea about that how much it will impact their system as well as how much it will help attacker so once that malware software are installed in a multiple system so it's just like this hacker will have control on a multiple users account or a multiple user system so now you just assume now these many users have downloaded intendedly or wrongly the malware software sent by hacker and there will be multiple like thousands of millions of systems got corrupted or systems got infected with that malware now this is a main hacker will have control on all the malware installed all the system and on the definite time so attacker will just decide the timeline on which timeline he want to start the attack and once he decide and it just give command to all the malware installed in each system it just ask that malware is to start sending traffic to this application so all the system now start sending traffic to to these servers or this application so this request will be like in very huge amount and if all the systems or all the malware start sending traffic in a huge amount that server might crash so this kind of attacks may longer for few hours or a day so just to want give you an example just see here a uh, largest ddos attack i just searched in google and you could see the frequency of attack so microsoft mitigated ddos attack targeting an azure customer so see the frequency of 340 million packet per second so you can just imagine the intensity of these attacks and the intensity will be more on that so you can't even imagine how much they can impact your system now one thing to remember here these are different users or different system infected by this malware can be a common users like us so we are just using the internet and we wrongly clicked off any of the link and just malware got installed in our system without our information or we don't even know that there is a malware installed on in our system and which can help hacker to hack any of these system so now these all malware installed in system can communicate with the main hacker or that main hacker can control all these malware installed on a different system so all these malware installed can found a network which a hacker and this can be found a complete army of hacker which is also called as a botnet so so that was all about the theoretical part now we'll see in a practical way how ddos attack might impact our system so at the initial or at the beginning of the video i have shown you that i have created a simple web application on my gcp virtual machine so this is my uh, gce instance here i installed or like deployed one web application so that is my web application and i can type username and password here and it will show me the uh, web page so i will type something and immediately it will give us a response that you are inside application so currently it is working completely fine i just try to do operation bit faster so you will understand it is working fine and immediately after clicking logging it is just taking me inside the web application that is a simple web application now i am considering this web application as a target for the hackers uh, i will just do a quick demo that i will generate a huge amount of traffic on this website or this web page using one of the python program so we'll see how our application will work now i had paused my screen i just started a python program to generate the traffic on my application so currently the time is 20.07 and i try to reload my web page and currently it is working fine so let me type something abc try to enter something and it's taking me inside the web page so it's a bit slow now 
so it's uh, loading i'm not able to log in even though i'm clicking multiple times okay let me try to open in a new tab because now huge amount of traffic is receiving to my application and it started working poorly and in some time it will just crash and will show it's not reachable now you could see it's not loading at all so it's still loading here and here let me run again okay it's just loaded but it is taking hell amount of time now and even i'm trying to log in it is not taking me to the web page so it's not working as expected and that's the example of ddos attack that it just disrupted my normal behavior and now you could see here what it is showing this site can't be reached because it took too long to respond and that's the live demo you could see for a ddos attack by generating huge amount of traffic now i'll show you that uh, traffic so i'll just go to my vm instance performance and now okay one thing so my vm instance is still running so vm instance is not down and here i will show you the performance the traffic will peak within a few seconds i will show you the cpu so what happen if the ddos attack happen you just see the traffic even though it is a 3.85 percent but it was like way huge from the normal performance or normal expected behavior you even see for network i'll just show you for network as it generated the traffic here you could see immediately it just picked and it was sending the huge amount of traffic so every graph you could see it just picked up for that particular moment so for disk as initially i so i am using the disk which having very low performance and here you could see all your matrix here so this is the way ddos attack might impact your system and that's why the multiple cloud provider provides a services to mitigate this kind of attack like google cloud provides cloud armor and for azure and ws so they have separate service for mitigating such kind of attacks so that's it for this video and as i said it's only for educational purpose and i perform this testing on my own web application so if you want to perform any kind of testing or just uh, do uh, this demo you can do it on your own web application you can create your web application and you can perform your testing just for a study purpose so that's it for this demo and thank you for watching this video.